Yo, 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 welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to Why Didn't Vicky Friends Join the Axis Short Animated Documentary by the channel History Matters. Link is down below in the description. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you go and subscribe. It is very important to support the channels that you love. You're damn right it is. This was a suggestion from Burnsay111. And thank you so much for the support. You guys can also help support the channel if you want to. If you click on that link down below in the descripto and throw it on through Streamlabs, you can let you pick one of the next videos we react to. Just keep it under 10. Include the video's link title, your email. Follow all my social media up above. I did make a new Snapchat, guys. Make sure you go and check it out. Um, subscribe. It is free. My old one is deleted. And yeah, make sure you follow me and subscribe to me on those. And let's get to this. Let's do it. Defeated in the Second World War, the armistice dictated that the north of it was to be garrisoned by German soldiers, whereas the south was allowed to remain unoccupied. This part of France is known as Vichy France due to it being run from said town, Vichy. and it was Vichy. a German puppet state in all but name. But despite its leaders acting in German interests, Vichy France never joined the Axis to fight the Allies in a more formal sense. So why not? Why didn't Vichy France join the Axis? So, as of the fall of France, President Albert Le Brun gave absolute power to his recently appointed Prime Minister, Philippe Patton, and this was to allow him to write a new constitution. Patton dissolved the French Parliament and made himself head of state. Legally, Patton's government had control over all of France. In reality, though, its authority stretched only throughout the non-occupied zone. His government had to relocate from Paris to Vichy here because it had the best postal and telephone facilities outside of the capital. As Patton was attempting to write a new okay. French constitution after its defeat, Britain was worried. France had withdrawn from both the war and the Allies and now sat as a neutral, if occupied, state. The British were concerned that the French fleet would fall into German hands and so they demanded custody of it for themselves. The French said no and so the British calmly dropped the subject and some bombs on the French fleet. The French responded okay. by bombing Gibraltar, and it would that. seem then that the two were at war. But France never made any declarations, nor did it try to join the Axis. And there were several important reasons why. The first was that Patton didn't believe that France was ready to join the conflict on either side. The second reason was that Patton enjoyed international recognition as the legitimate ruler of France, with some exceptions, and joining the war would see this revoked by some. It also meant that the French people in both France itself and the colonies wouldn't have to pick a side. Since many weren't too happy about the German occupation, but there was also a very strong anti-British sentiment amongst the French people, and Patton didn't want to test which of these were stronger. The third reason was that the Axis didn't really want France to join. The German government didn't feel that France would fare too well in an all-out war, and importantly they didn't want to risk having to divert troops to help in Africa. It wasn't just Germany though that didn't want France on the team. The Italian government had been eyeing up French territory for a long time, and even a rump France on side could have prevented Italy from realising its ambitions. And across the world, Japan wasn't a fan of France either. Its ideological justification for its conflict with the West was freeing Asia from European colonialism, and France held these lands that Japan wanted. That said, the debate didn't last too long. Since in late 1942, fearing that Vichy France would either join the Allies or fall to them, the German and Italian militaries invaded and put an end to its existence, thereby ending the short and technically neutral existence of Vichy France. I hope you enjoyed this episode with a special thanks to hmm. my patrons, James That Bizonet. is it. Well, I guess that was a really fast uh, history lesson, right? Holy cow, that was. We have bad history with history videos yeah is that a way of yeah it? we do you know what though that's okay because there are some things we have knowledge on that i'm not a history person nor do i really i don't get into it i'm not interested in it nor do i give a shit right that's just me that's like you know the next guy saying yo i just don't care about geometry like i don't care at least you're honest though yeah like this hasn't helped my life at all yeah i i feel it i feel it there you guys go that's why i didn't <laughs> Vichy France join the Axis. Vichy. Vichy. Vichy France. Vichy France. Vichy France. Oh my god. <laughs> Debate of Anne Frank Stupid. and France. Okay. Oh. God, I don't you know, even know what is... to say to it, to be real. See, there are, there are, like, there are history lessons or, like, things you can learn that I'm actually, like, into when Let it comes. Let me guess. Yeah. When it comes to, like, you know, back when there were concentration camps, that stuff's, like, interesting. It holds my attention. This stuff, no. It doesn't do anything for me. Like, if I'm going to learn something, it's going to be learning about how people were fucking burned to death. And, you know, like, yeah. like it has to be something that makes an, an impression, you know. Something. Going to a play that you're learning a storyline, you know. Like, everyone learns a different way, I guess. And everyone's interested in different things but that's my way of learning i like to see like a play about it or something right. that imprints it into my memory 
Right, or like the War of the Emus. Yes, like that and you remember that. so crazy. Yeah, you remember that because it's something that's like, wow, that happened? Right. Yeah. What do you mean they went to war against a bunch of birds? Well, it happened. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, if you like that video, go check out the channel that is History Matters, Um, because it does. It, it's just... it does. It it. History made us. It matters. There you go. Enough said. And we will catch you in the next video. Peace out, guys. See ya.